Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Air Pistol mod which is being made by user Cumble and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new early game silent handgun in the form of an air pistol and it is a pretty cool weapon and one which I'm sure any of you stealthy character types out there should really enjoy. Now as for what you do get with this mod let's go into our inventory and take a look at what is for the most part a bog standard air pistol now unfortunately i couldn't uh spawn myself in just a purely standard version as for some reason you can't actually find the air pistol when you type in the usual help command you'll find all of its mods but not the gun itself, which is very unusual. But thankfully, this is meant to be a very early game weapon. And so you can pretty much find it anywhere right off the bat in any game. In fact, I just quickly went over to the Diamond City Market and found two of them in the store there nice and easily. So it should not be a problem to get your hands on one of these guns. Now, uh, in its mostly standard configuration here, you will do 15 damage with a new ball bearing ammunition type with a firing rate of 66, range of 119, and accuracy of 72, and finally a weight of 4.1. Now on the damage front, it really doesn't do a lot, and sadly it will never do very much, even its most powerful form uh, just frankly isn't going to do much damage at all to anything, but... Again, it's an early game weapon. This is basically meant to be your first tactical silenced pistol for you to use to make those stealthy kills, which I think is kind of cool, especially considering the very nice modeling and texturing on this thing. I, I love the look of it. It is definitely a slap together hodgepodge post-apocalyptic weapon that fits into the, you know, Fallout universe, I think, quite nicely. Uh, now, uh, let's actually go and take a look at the modifications we can make for this gun as it's, well, uh, we actually have a fair few things, but sadly, you're never really going to be able to turn this thing into a wide variety of weapons like some other modifications can do. It is always going to be nothing really but a semi-automatic silent air pistol. Uh, but we do have the ability to change the receivers and we have, you know, all the standard fare here. Everything from the, well, standard receiver to light frame, calibrated hair trigger, all the way up to advanced where we have the most powerful this gun can get without perks. And that is 26, which again, early game gun. It's, it's not, it's not really meant for end game. And then in the barrel category, we actually do have a surprisingly large number of barrels here. Everything from a really, really short barrel to a, a long barrel, long bulled, or of course the various medium ones here. And you know, just uh, how long you want the thing to be. It's pretty cool. Now next in the grip category, we have the standard grip, a comfort grip, and finally a sharpshooter grip, which makes it kind of look like the uh, blasters from the Star Wars movie, which, I mean, hey, that's fun. And then in the magazines, we have just the standard and a quick eject version of it. And finally in sights, we have a pretty decent selection here from long night vision scopes, long scopes, medium, reflex, and short scopes. Now, uh, one of the reasons I said it, this particular weapon here was mostly standard was because, well, it had the reflex sight on it. The uh, most basic version, at least according to the images on the mod page, are without any form of sight but you can't actually turn them off. And the ones I bought at Diamond City, well, they both had sights on them. So you can't seem to just uh, downgrade it to iron sights. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually okay with that because hey, I've never really been much of a fan of iron sights anyways. 
And as for the ammunition on this, remember I said it uses a custom new ball bearing ammo type. And of course that too, like the gun, has been added to the leveled loot list. So you'll find it in containers, on enemies, in stores, etc. But you can also make it at a chemistry station quite easily with just a couple of, well actually one aluminum, will make seven ball bearings. So it's actually pretty efficient uh, ammo wise though. It does use aluminum and I am always in need of more aluminum. But let's actually go take some shots with this thing and see how it functions. So there you go, you get just a pretty basic and simple, uh, you know, the standard sort of sound for a silenced weapon. And also the reload animation again is just kind of a standard in-game one, which I would like to see a custom animation on there, I think that'd be fun. And on the sound, I hope one day we get a custom sound for it. You know, maybe go out and record a BB gun firing, I think that would fit quite nicely. But for now, we just have to make do. Now as for the other gun that I did uh, buy, this one is of course the most powerful version we do have, which uh, is quite nice. It does do that 26 damage, which isn't much, but what is cool about it is you can see between the two of these things, if we actually go and look here, uh, the standard version has this sort of straight back tank that's, you know, this sort of uh, aqua color, and whereas this one with the advanced receiver is a more rounded sort of shiny tank and that's something you can't really see when you're in the uh, workbench too easily because of course it's always highlighted with green on the receivers but each of the receivers does change the shape and color of the air pistol itself which is pretty cool I mean it only changes between two shapes but we have uh, actually a multitude of colors in here which is pretty nice now, uh, let's actually go and test these on our poor test subjects over here. I mean, last episode we did spare them since it was Christmas, but today, today is, well, back to normality. So let's get out the, uh, advanced one here, which has the night vision scope. Oh god, why did I go with the night vision scope? And, oh god, he ducked and I missed! Okay, so, you know, if you actually hit... Two shots should do, and if I would have hit him in the head, might have actually been only one. But, hey, it still took him down pretty easily. Oh, poor Will. Let's go and find good old Randy the Radstag now, and uh, see how many shots it does take to get him. So let's stabilize. Go for the head! Oh! Oh, it's gonna take a few more shots on him. There we go. So, yes. A oh, my God, that's a death claw over there. Why are there two death claws in my world? I did not spawn them. Well, I'm going to back away slowly and uh, end the episode because they are going to annihilate me. Especially with this gun. <laughs> Alright, well that is uh, the Air Pistol mod, a pretty cool little little modification, if I do say so myself. It is a fun little addition to the game, giving you an early game silenced weapon, which is pretty fun, especially if you do like being a sneakier character. It gives you some more opportunities when you're a low level character. But that is going to be it for today, so if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely would suggest that you go and do. You can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll have yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now, seriously, why, why are these guys in my world? Screw it. Take them on. Later, folks.